Hello, this is Seher from Easy Peasy. And the topic we are going to discuss today is called as discovery of DNA as a heredity material. Now, if we look at the timeline of genetics, we know that in 1865, Gregor Mendel discovered a chromosome. Then in 1902 and in 1903, two scientists named as Theodore Boveri and Walter Sauton work independently and find out the chromosomal theory of inheritance. Then in 1910, Thomas Hunt Morgan discovered genes on sex chromosomes. Up till this point, they also know the composition of the chromosome, that it is made up of DNA and proteins. But the question is that whether the DNA or the protein is responsible for transferring the genetic material from their parents to their offspring. This question becomes a hot topic when in 1928, Frederick Griffith discovered transforming principle. He was actually working on streptococcus pneumonia and his intention was to discover the vaccine against this bacteria. But he accidentally discovered transforming principle by which we know that DNA is the biomolecule which carries genetic information from parents to their offsprings. Now he was working on streptococcus pneumonia which is present in two different forms. One form is a virulent type as it has a capsule around it which is responsible for blood poisoning. They make shiny surface colonies that's why they are also called as S-type bacteria. On the other hand, we have a virulent streptococcus pneumonia. These bacteria doesn't have that capsule around it and that's why they make rough colonies. They are also called as R-type bacteria. Now let's see how the transforming principle was discovered. So he took a mouse and then he injected this mouse with the virulent type bacteria. As a result, the mouse died. Then he took another mouse and this time he injected a virulent type bacteria in it. As a result, the mouse was angry but he was not dead. Then he took the virulent form and then heated it up. By this way, the bacteria died and call as heat kill bacteria. Then he took another mouse and injected the heat kill bacteria in it. As a result, the mouse didn't die and was happy to be alive. Then he took the heat kill bacteria and mixed them up with the A virulent form of Streptococcus pneumonia. Then he injected these bacteria in a mouse. As a result, the mouse died. At this point, Griffith concluded that something from the heat kill bacteria transferred into the R type bacteria. And as a result, it generates the capsule around them and then convert them from A virulent to virulent type bacteria and that is the S type bacteria. That's why the mouse died when it was injected by both colonies. This principle is called as transforming principle of bacteria. Then, in 1944, three different scientists named as Colin McLeod, McLean McCarty, and Oswald O'Weary discover that this is actually the DNA that is transferring from one bacteria to the other. Now what they did was they repeat the experiment did by Frederick Griffith. Now they know the composition of bacteria. The bacteria have a sugar coat. They are made up of proteins, RNA, and DNA. So before adding these two colonies with each other, they added different type of enzymes in each test tube to remove that certain type of thing present in that bacteria. So as we can see in this test tube, they remove the sugar coat. In this test tube, they remove the protein. In this test tube, they remove the RNA. And from this test tube, they remove the DNA. As a result, we can see that in all other test tubes, the R bacteria transform into the S strain. But only one test tube have a result in which R-type bacteria doesn't transform into the S-type bacteria. And by this way, we recognize that this is the DNA which is actually transferring from one bacteria to the other and generating the capsule around them. That's why the mouse died. That's how it was discovered that DNA is the biomolecule which is responsible for heredity material transferring from parents to their offspring. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you like it, please subscribe our channel. Thank you. Bye-bye.